Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, we've been really busy so I haven't got back in touch with you but there's a lot of things up and coming that we'll be sharing but we have to clean up some of our hobbies that we started that I needed to show you how they're going. So today is a short tour of the orchids and no, the flowers never dropped when I transplanted them and uh, a few jobs we got going and the finish of a couple others. So I'll take you on a short tour and uh, I'll be right there to do it. There. <laughs> Sorry about the little bump. Now if you remember I started a picture of, I had three porcelain tiles and I did what they call a dirty pour. So first what I did with the tiles was I painted rocks on the bottom. So um, you can see some rocks under the surface of the pond. So let's go down here. So first what I did was paint rocks under the pond before I did the dirty pour. And then when the dirty pour was dry, I painted fish on the surface. So here they are. This is the back of one and the way this frame sits, it sits over the fish so it still looks that like the birds are looking down into the pond from a tree. So here's the other fish. This one just burst through the water. And there's one there. And cute little guy. So then on top of that, I painted. So this is all being painted on top of the dirty pour. So we have a painting under the dirty pour and on top. So then I painted branches and berries. So the fish are trying to catch berries that the parrots have knocked off. And uh, then I painted the parrots. So it's sort of ended out how I wanted. And it's the first time I've ever done that. It's the first, uh, only other dirty pours I did was on a couple pots. So that is how that one has finished. And I just need to hang it up where it's going in the hallway. And we'll get on to the orchids. Okay. So this was the other dirty pour. It was a, a sewer pot. You remember that one. And I transplanted it, oh boy, it may be a couple weeks ago or three weeks ago. And the blossoms are still fine. Nothing happened. Went from moss to bark. It's happy, nothing happened. And of course, this sewer pot's a little bit bigger. This is what I call the Monet pot that Jack painted. And these have been in bloom since December. So the white one's just dying off in the back. And the other purple one. And uh, mid deep purple. This is one of my oldest orchids. And it got repotted uh, twice because I wasn't happy with the first pot I put it in. This has been in bloom since December, and I see it's getting more flowers. Yes, it is beautiful. So that's how that one's doing. And I did put the ones I had on bark mounted into a pot, and I think I'm seeing improvement with the roots for sure. So I see roots are growing out and uh, I see some new leaves coming. 
So I think that was the right move. It was just too dry and too much work having to do it every day. Now the kaiki that's been in bloom since December, and I'll be repotting it when it's not, is back here. And they are in bloom. And they also are getting... Oops, more buds. So I think just that very weak solution, it's uh, two drops, it's about a gallon, to a gallon of water, one drop of the heavier, heavier middle number of your fertilizer. It's very, very weak, but I think it does it really good. Now, up and coming, I'm making some. I found these at the thrift store, aren't they pretty? And Philanopsis are moss. They look like flying moss. That's how they got their name. And I found these and I got different ones on little sticks. I'm making all my name tags with those. So that's a new project I have to do. This one was repotted also. Still healthy, not losing any flowers. No, still happy. Now, let's see. Okay, down here we have a little one. There's going to be a shelf going in down here. This is right under the window. There's the window. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Hi. He's a good girl. Okay, so right under the window, there will be a glass shelf. And I'll show you what we're doing with that. But uh, the, the orchid, this was a plastic road cone that we painted. It loves it. I think the plastic pots keep things warm and, and they're just growing roots and leaves and very happy. So no sign of any flowers dropping here. But this one I did cut off. And it looks fine, but I've cut it off to see if I'll get anything on the end. So we'll see. Now I'll show you the shelf that is going to sit under the window. So there's our window. And we were at the thrift store and we found something I'll show you. So there's going to be a little shelf where I have these all on a stand. Because now I keep the table over on this side so that I have lots of space for a little shelf. And then when this window is so hot in the summer, I'll have a spot to put those blinds down. And the ones I want to keep in will be on a shelf. So, as I slowly turn you around, on the kitchen table, because it's too cold, it was snowing all morning, We've had, we picked these up at the thrift store for maybe $3. They were filthy and uh, a different color, but they are oak. And we've sanded them all down. And I'm going to stain them cherry wood to match the furniture. And so when I get that done, Jack's already drilled holes. They'll go underneath the window with glass on top. So there's an extra shelf, anybody looking for a little more space. And uh, that'll be going up soon. And the other surprise, and I wish I could put an orchid in it, but we have to go in the other room because I've painted it for the other room. There is... The orchid pot that Jack did. It is beautiful. Yeah, I have to show you. Now, I did a dirty pour on this. I filmed it, but I never put it up. If anyone wants to see it, I'd have to put it up. But when you try and do a dirty pour on a plastic pot, you get, because it's all running down. When I did it on the tiles were flat, it sat, but because it all runs down, you get this lava uh, pottery look. And because um, I kept 
scra scraping everything that dripped off back on top of the pot. So this was brown plastic and uh, I can't wait to put, I think, a huge white orchid in it. But this was the color it was. You can see my paint and it's waiting for an orchid. I'm waiting for a few orchids <laughs> and everything is going pretty good in here. These are all growing new leaves in this window and no flowers on the dendrobiums, cymbidiums, all new leaves and we're still working on that and this is the shelf we made for some extra orchids in the corner. And the ZZ plant. It likes filtered light just like the orchids. Very healthy. And the little ones that I started from little leaves and it took a year. They're actually sprouting out quite nicely right now. So um, that pot was done. I'll show you if I can. I did it to match our living room furniture. So if you see from this side the reasoning for the color. So <laughs> that was it. That's the end. We're cleaning up these hobbies. We're waiting for some new plants and there's some really interesting things going to happen this month. <laughs> You'll be surprised. So uh, I'm going to let you go. Hope you enjoyed your little tour and We'll see you next time.